guys welcome back okay so I'm kind of excited right now because I'm in the mood to do my eyes put on some makeup you know get a little glam a little fiery and I wasn't sure exactly which palette I wanted to use today I just wasn't feeling I don't know I wasn't feeling any of them any of them that I picked up I was like nah. <laughs> you know, I kind of wanted to do, to do like a comparison video, but I couldn't really find two palettes that I felt like comparing. But anyway, blah, blah, blah. So when my mailman delivered a package to me from Ulta today, I was really excited because I was like, yes, a palette that I actually want to use. Now, the palette that I'm playing in today is the new Morphe 3503. I don't know. Is this still considered new? They drop stuff so often, who knows? But this is the Fierce by Nature palette, and y'all, this packaging is really cute. I really like this new kind of sleek, thin cardboard packaging from Morphe. I really prefer this to that ugly black plain plastic packaging. So this is the palette of the day, you guys. Now, uh, yeah, when I first saw this palette teased or whatever on Instagram, of course, I was like, nah, I'm not about to do another 35 shades of brown with a pop of red. I'm not going to do it. But as I saw people creating looks with this palette and just kind of checked it out a little bit more, I was like, wait a minute. There's some nice, pretty, bright shades in there. That green is gorgeous. You know, there's some nice, beautiful plums in here. So anyways, of course, it has the name sheet, which... I'm not fooling with today, you guys. We just gonna point and click, <laughs> okay? We are not about to be searching for names. But yeah, I noticed that there was some pretty berry tone shades, some really gorgeous kind of like bright neon type shades, like these kind of corals, melons, and pinks in here. I was like, okay. Then of course it has, you know, some beautiful shimmers, some nice lighter shades for highlighting and some really deep shades down here along with a black to where you know i can kind of get in there and smoke it out if i want to so this palette kind of it kind of was making me say you know what go ahead pick it up try it out now this palette retails for 25 dollars i paid 20 dollars for it because i got it on ulta with my 20 percent off coupon so i saved about five dollars on it i believe so 20 bucks not bad we're gonna see how this formula does. I'm anticipating it's gonna be just like regular Morphe formula, you know, but I don't know if I'm gonna dive into this shimmer. I know I wanna use these greens, some of these bright shades, and just kind of do a nice fall-esque shade with a pop of green. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I don't feel like swatching all these shadows, you guys, but I think I'll go ahead and insert a clip of swatches for you because I'll swatch it after the fact. I'm ready to get going with this palette. Okay, so some of you guys might be wondering if you already have the 3502, which is this palette here, you know, in their regular black plastic packaging. But this, I need to just throw that away. But this is what the 3502 looks like. You know, it has like 5 million browns of black, some light shades and a couple of pops of red. <laughs> That's basically what the 3502 looks like. Now, let me just hold these next to each other so you guys can take a look and just kind of see um, you know, some of the differences in these two palettes. Now, as you can clearly see, the new 3503 has some, a few brighter shades, you know, a few that look a little bit more kind of fluorescent toned, pinky toned, you know, of course the green and the gold glitter, there's no glitter in the 3502. It still has the warm browns in here, but the 3503 has some nice berry tone shades in it that I really, really like. So I think that's what kind of makes the difference to me is the berry and pink tones that I'm getting from the 3503 that I'm not really getting from the 3502. So let's go ahead and jump into this 3503 because I'm kind of excited to see 
what's happening. As you can see, my face is already done. And when I was doing my face, I did just put some concealer on my lids. Just a hint of powder, not a lot, but I didn't want to go through having to prep my lids and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and get started and see what is happening with this palette. I know I kind of want to go bright and bold. So I think I'm going to start out with this shade here, which is a really, really pretty kind of light corally type shade. I'm just going to take that in my upper crease with a large fluffy brush and scoochy in just a little bit. Just a tiny bit of kick up in the pan for this color. Nice. Okay, that color is really pretty, nicely pigmented. I'm just going in with a fluffy brush and blowing it out on my lid. I like that. Okay, next I wanna go into this bright pink shade, which is right next to it. Very, very bright. I'm gonna go into that. I was thinking I was going to do a really red look. Okay, now this shadow has more kick up in the pan, but I don't know, I'm kinda leaning towards these bright pinks. Maybe it'll look more red blended in with that first color. Very pretty. This color is nicely pigmented also, and they're blending in together very easily. Okay, I'm really pleased with how these shadows are showing up and blending into each other. Very pretty. And that color does have a bit more kick up in the pan than the first one. Okay, so I wanna deepen my outer corners, of course. I'm gonna go into this kind of berry, it's like a deep berry or plum type shade here, and just use that to deepen my outer corners a bit. I don't want to take away too much of that pretty bright pink shade. Okay, very nice. And you guys can see these colors are blending into each other just very nicely. I really, really like the formula of these shadows. I've noticed for myself when I'm first trying out a palette, you know, for the first time, um, it helps me to kind of go in light handed and then work my way up just so I can get a feel for the pigmentation and how the shadows are going to perform because using as many palettes as I do, <laughs> I know that they don't all work the same. They don't all perform the same. Even if they look like they might or they should, they don't. So I'm pleasantly surprised with this, the pigmentation on this palette. All right, Morphe, I'm gonna have to give you your props on these mattes. I don't know about the shimmers yet, but these mattes, really nice okay now this is where it's gonna get a little crazy if you just like a basic fall look as you can see this is really really nice you can just add a shimmer or you know just pack a little bit more of that darker shade on your lid and you have a very beautiful fall look but of course I have to jump into these greens <laughs> and check them out so we do have this matte green and this shimmer green. So I'm going to take a little bit of that matte green and just place that in my inner corner. I don't want it to overpower the look. I just want it to reflect this palette. So just a little. And mind you, I don't have a base, so I'm basically just, you know, putting this over my <laughs> brown lid. And I'm just building it up a little because I do want to get that brightness. Since I know I don't have a white base down, I just want to make sure 
that I get close to the actual color. A little bit of fallout. Okay, so now that I have that green in my inner corner, I wanna play around with some shimmers. Now, is there a burgundy shimmer in here? Yeah. I wanna go in with this shimmer here. It's kinda of like a, I don't know, maroony pink type shimmer. I wanna take some of that and place it on my lid. And I'm gonna spray my brush. And I just wanna place that like in the middle of my lid. Okay, that's pretty. It's not a blinding shimmer, but it's kind of like more of a maroon type satin shade. Very pretty though. Now I want to add a little bit of brightness. So I think I'm gonna go into this shade here. It's kind of like a gold tone shimmer. Spraying my brush. And just placing it right next to that maroon shade. And blending it in. So it kind of has like a hint of orange to it. It's not completely gold. Yeah, it has like a hint of orange. Very pretty. And now that I have those shimmers down, I'm just going in with what's left over on that bright pink brush and just going through my crease just to kind of blend everything together. Now I think I wanna take just a tiny bit of the shimmer green shadow and just place that in between the matte green and the orange just to see if I can get a little bit of a better blend in between those two colors. I'm not sure if it'll work or not, but. Yeah, I think that kind of brings those odd colors together a little bit better and adds a little bit more brightness. Very pretty. I'm really liking this palette so far, you guys. I don't know if it's because I just like strange colors together, but I really like how it's performing. Very nice. Okay, so for my lower lash line, I think I wanna go in with a brown and a green liner. So I'm gonna go in with this brown liner here. This is from Pixie. I got it free when I went to Beautycon and I don't typically do brown liner. So I'm just gonna put this on the majority of my lower lash line. And for the inner corner, I wanna go in with this bright neon green eyeliner that I got from ColourPop. Let's see if that works. Maybe if I put some of the bright green shimmer on top of it, if it will be a little bit brighter. Or not. Okay, yeah, that's a little bit brighter. Now for my lower lash line, I wanna go into the dark berry shade. Now for liner, I just wanna add a small amount of my NYX Black Liquid Eyeliner just to my upper lash line. And for mascara on my upper and lower lashes, I'm going to use my Thrive Cosmetics Lash Extensions Mascara. So this is the look you guys for this Morphe 3503 Fierce by Nature eyeshadow palette. First impression, I have to say I really like this palette. Everything from the packaging to kind of the nice variation in shades that they have in here. At first glance, you might think, oh, it's just another regular Morphe 35 brown and a pop of red, <laughs> but it's really not you guys. There's some beautiful, bright kind of 
neon type shades in here that I think are just absolutely gorgeous and nicely pigmented as you saw. Um, definitely some beautiful berry tones for fall in here. So it's not just a bunch of browns. There's some beautiful berry tone shades in here. Um, it does have these darker shades here, which look a little bit more cool tone if you like some variety. But with the greens, the nice pop of green, this um, pressed glitter here in the center with a nice little variation of shimmers to complement these mattes. I think this is a nice palette. I do. I know when I saw it, I was just roasting it like everybody else. I was like, no, not another 35 brown shades with a pop of red. <laughs> but this one really is different, you guys. So if you were thinking about possibly trying this out because it looks a little different to you, I definitely think it is. It's different. It's nice. It has some vibrancy to it. And I'm here for it. I like the little change. I like the nice, beautiful packaging as well well so hopefully this video was helpful to you if you were thinking about picking it up or kind of on the fence I like it I definitely think it's worth 25 bucks I paid $20 with my little 20% off coupon at Ulta so I'm very happy with this purchase I like it I like the formula I like the variation of shades so that's it you guys thanks so much for hanging out with me don't forget to hit like on your way out if you're not subscribed and you like my content go ahead and subscribe to your girl okay <laughs> and I will see you on my next video toodles